Hey everyone, this is Just a Deck and welcome back to the channel. So today I will show you how you can bypass the iCloud activation lock screen on iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, iPad 4 very easily and completely free. So if you have any old device like iPhone 5, 5C or iPad 4 and running on the iOS 10.3.3 or 10.3.4, you can actually bypass the iCloud activation lock screen very easily and completely free. I will show you the complete process like how you can do that and you will get the full access into the device after the bypass and it's gonna be completely unthreaded method that means you can reboot your device without getting lock again and if you want to bypass the other iPhones or iPad models you can check out my description link or visit my channel where you will find all the videos link I have made uh, several videos on the free methods and the paid also or if you want to bypass the MEID plus SIM network that is also available on Windows and Mac OS so links in the description you can check out all these videos from there and get your work done so let me just go to my computer screen and show you this complete process. Now the first thing you will require a Mac operating system or if you are a Windows user you can try the Hackintosh method that will also work. So first you will need to go to the Safari browser and the visit the website like Apple Tech 752. So you need to download the latest version of the Sliver 6.0. So on the home screen you will get the download now button. Just click on that and download will be started. I have already downloaded the 6.0 version so I will not download it again. So just complete the download and simply install it. Now just drag and drop the sliver into your application folder and after that go to your launch band and you will find the sliver 6.0 there so just click on that and open the tool. Now the tool is working good. Now we'll need the other important files required in the bypass. So let me just minimize the tool and download the other files. So now you will need the IPSW file for your device. Like if you have an iPhone 5, 5C or iPad 4, you will require the IPSW file for the latest version that is 10.3.3 or 10.3.4. So you can download directly from the IPSW.me website and make sure that you will require the correct IPSW file according to your model, whether it's a GSM or a global model. So I have a iPhone 5C so I will download the IPSW according to that. Now we are set now we have download all the required files and the tool. The next thing you have to go to your iTunes and connect your device into recovery mode or a DFU mode and completely restore your device. So just turn off your device first and insert the cable and press the home button for 5 seconds and then it will put your device into recovery mode directly and if you want to put your device into DFU mode directly so press the home button and the power button for the 10 seconds and then release the power button and keep pressing the home button for the 5 seconds then your device will get into the DFU mode so now the device into in the recovery mode now click on the restore button and then import the IPSW file and click on the flash and it will completely restore your device this is the important step you have to make sure that you will follow this otherwise this bypass will not work so this is the same procedure for other models like iPhone 5 and iPad 4 so you need to follow the same procedure for all now once the restore process will complete and then it will appear the Apple logo you have to query quick and put your device into DFU mode for this trick to work for the bypass otherwise it will not work So at the time of the iTunes pop-up that the restore is completed, now just click on OK and when the Apple logo will appear again, you need to put your device into DFU mode completely and fast. So now the Apple logo is appeared, now press the home button and the power button for the 10 second and then after that you have to release the power button and keep pressing the home button for the 5 more seconds and then your device will be get into DFU mode. You will also get the pop-up on the iTunes also so that you will get to know that your device into DFU mode so now as you can see the pop-up appear now release the home button and as you can see my device is now into the DFU mode now just open the sliver again now we are ready to bypass now click on the iCloud bypass RAM disk method and then click on the bypass A6 devices now you will see iPhone 5 iPhone 5C and iPad 4 so you can bypass all these devices so I have an iPhone 5C now click on that now first you need to put your device into pawn DFU mode now just click on that and if you face any error like try again your device is not getting into pawn DFU mode and you need to put your device into DFU mode again and then repeat the process. Now the device is getting the exploit and it's working fine that means the device in the pawn DFU mode. Now after that click on OK and if you get fail you need to put your device into DFU mode again as I told you and you need to repeat the step and then it will work. 
Now the next step you have to load the RAM disk so you will get the standard and the alternate RAM disk so if the standard get failed you, you can try the alternate RAM disk and then click on the load so I am preferring the standard that will work so click on load and it will take around 5 to 10 seconds and then the iTunes will pop up so just close it down it's normal. Now you will get the RAM disk is successfully sent that means the RAM disk is loaded and you will see some verbos booting on your device that means it's working. Now on that you have to wrote the relay device info in that it will check the SSH connection or your device is connected with the TCP or SSH. Now everything is set now the last option that is the delete setup.app so you need to click on that and after that your device will be successfully bypassed. Now as you can see the iCloud bypass is done and your device will be get a complete restore and it will show you the apple logo and the loading bar so wait for it to get complete and after that you will exactly see your home screen and you are into your device and the bypass is completely done now and if you face any error you can just repeat the process put your device into dfu mode after the complete restore and repeat the process and then it will surely work and if you want to know how it's work first we have to put your device into pawn dfu mode and it will load the ram disk and just simply delete the setup.app and complete the restore process after the respring now here it is you can see we have successfully logged into our device and the bypass is done and you can see all the application let me show you from the settings that there is no apple id bound So you can follow the same process if you have a old iPhone 5, 5C or iPad 4 running on the iOS 10.3.3 or 10.3.4 and you can easily bypass and delete the setup.app with the sliver 6.0 and everything will work so you can see the control center is working and camera and all the things will work. So let me just turn off the device and show you it's a complete untethered method that means if you reboot the device it will not come on the activation lock screen again because we have successfully deleted the setup.app permanently so it's completely untethered method Now the reboot is done and you can see it's a completely untethered method so everything is working after the reboot also and there is no apple id again so that's all for this video if you like the content just hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more cool updates so till then goodbye take care and peace out